at Joanna. I'm so mad at her. I could just, I could, oh. Hey, Noah, studying your lessons? No, this paper is where I mark down every time I have to forgive Joanna, and I'm so mad at her this time I think I should make five or six marks. Oh, well, why are you doing that? Well, because I read in Matthew 8, 23, 21 and 22, I mean, that Jesus told Peter he had to forgive anyone who sinned against him 77 times. I see. And uh, so what happens when you get to 77? Well, then I won't have to forgive her anymore. Really? Um, and have you done anything for which she might have to forgive you? Um, well, yeah, I guess, maybe. You know, uh, some translations of the Bible say that Jesus told Peter he had to forgive 70 times 7. 70 times 7? Well, let's see, uh, 7 times 0 is 0, and 7 times 7 is... Gramps, that's 490 times! That's right. Uh, I think I'm going to need a bigger paper. <laughs> uh, apparently, you didn't read the parable that follows that statement. Uh, in verses 23 through 35. No, I guess I didn't. Well, first of all, back then, Jewish rabbis taught humans that they had to forgive anyone who wronged them three times. Peter thought he was being very generous to say seven, but Jesus said, no, but we must forgive either 77 times or 490. Doesn't matter a whole lot because... Uh, the Jews considered the number seven to be complete, meaning um, infinite, total, uh, you know, all. Uh, so, 77 or 70 times seven indicated how much more important it was than just seven. Uh, doesn't really matter, they're all figurative numbers anyway. Oh, so that means I have to keep forgiving no matter how many times someone does something to me? Well... Let's see what Jesus was teaching here. Jesus told a parable about a king who wanted to settle his accounts, and he called in a man who owed him 10,000 talents. In today's money, that's at least a million dollars. Oh, that's a lot of debt. Yes, and the man could not pay. So he threw himself down before the king and begged for more time, saying he would pay all if given time. The king felt sorry for him, and he forgave the debt and sent the man on his way. Wow, what a nice king! Uh, uh, I'll bet that man was really grateful that the king forgave so much money. Oh, yes, I'm sure he was. But then he went out and found a fellow servant who owed him a hundred denarii. That's a few dollars in today's money. And when that man couldn't repay him, he grabbed him and began to choke him and demanded the money be paid immediately. The fellow servant begged for more time, but he refused, and he had the man thrown into prison until the debt could be paid. He didn't. Oh, yes, he did, and after all the king had done for him. Well, what a jerk! Some other servants who saw this happen went to the king and told him about it. The king called the man back in, and he said to him, You wicked servant! After I canceled all that debt for you because you begged me to, shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? Then he turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay all he owed. Well, and he really deserved it, too. I mean, after all, the king did for him, and, and how could he have just turned around and... Oh, um... I think maybe I'm doing the same thing, aren't I? Well, uh, what would happen, Noah, if everyone did as you are doing, kept track of how many times they forgave someone just so they could stop forgiving? Well, I guess eventually everyone would hate everyone else. And uh, that's what Jesus, is that what Jesus wants us to do? Well, uh, the last verse in this passage uh Jesus said, This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. You, What you are doing is not really forgiving, is it? Um, no, sir. I guess it's not. 
Jesus said the same thing right after he taught the disciples to pray in Matthew 6:14. God is not kidding about this, Noah. You cannot be his child if you refuse to forgive. I see that now. I'm really out of line here. But Gramps, forgiving is hard sometimes. Yes, but God doesn't leave us here on our own. If we're willing, if we remember how much he's done for us, and, uh, and if we really love him, then the Holy Spirit will help us to forgive and to love. Really? Well, well, that's really wonderful. Yes, it is. If I have wounded any soul today, if I have caused one foot to go astray, if I have walked in my own willful way, dear Lord, forgive. If I've been blinded by some hurt or pain, if I have not forgiven those I've blamed, and your forgiveness treated with disdain, dear Lord, forgive. Forgive the sins I have confessed to thee, Forgive the secret sins I do not see. Oh, guide me, love me, and my keeper be. Dear Lord, 